guys, Cindy out of here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay, hanging in there. Um, this week, like I told you guys last week, I made a boo-boo and I actually lost my video um, that I made for our letter P. So we're working on our, let's see, we're working on our ABCs of Chronic Pain. Okay, here's what we got for our P's. All right, and so what I did this week, of course, our letter is P. Um, this is just a, the, the plain manila tag that I had, and I put this piece of circle um, scrapbook paper on the back. And then I took an envelope and I cut it down, and I used this piece on one side and another piece on the other. This is a little bit of punchella that's just kind of old and was falling apart, so I used that. And just some little, little doodads on here, right? A little bit of washi tape. So then I decided I was going to use this pocket um, to do our words. So the first word that we have for today is piercing. Um, yeah, you guys know that feeling, right? You know that feeling when, I'm gonna make this a little bit darker while I'm sitting here. Hang on. Let me find the right pen, hold on. Um, so yeah, we have that piercing pain. Uh, the piercing of, you know, I get it a lot when I have those, um, the hot spikes of like electrical current. It's piercing. It, it definitely makes you um, pay attention to what you've got going on. So what I did is I took this little piece of cardstock that are uh, paper, craft paper, and I just wrote our words on them and I stick them in this envelope. So the first one was piercing. This one is prickling. Um, Anybody that has had uh, sciatica knows what that feels like. Your whole butt prickles and it goes all the way down to your feet. Um, so yeah, that's a sciatica issue. Um, and you know what, that's also fibro. Every now and then I get really weird, um, like just like prickling all up and down my arms and stuff from the fibro. So there's another one. Uh, punishing. This goes um, not only physically but mentally. Uh, I know that when I have off days or when I have bad days, I feel like I am punishing myself. Is there two pieces there? I don't think so. Um, it's almost like I'm being punished when I have to stay on the couch for a day or I have to lay in bed for a day. I just, I feel like I'm being punished from life, if that makes any sense. So... Yeah, punishing is, is, and it's something we also do to ourselves. Um, if we can't do something, if we can't walk the entire mall, or, you know, we are, we're always down on ourselves and we're like, well, if you can't do that, you can't do this. And that's what happens with chronic pain, is you tend to punish yourself. Or you feel like you're in a punishment when you're in really, really bad shape. So I think that's a big word on the, the P's. Um, pulsing. Okay, again, we all know this. It's just like uh, for those people that don't have chronic pain, if you stub your toe, you know that pulsing of your heartbeat that you can feel in your toe or in your thumb? Um, yeah, we get that quite a bit. And I consider that pulsing. It's just a da-doon, da-doon, da-doon type of pain, and it does not go away. What's next? Is that in my pocket? Yes. All right, and then my last bad word I've got on here pang and again it's one of those things all of a sudden it just hits you and it's like ah and it's that pang of pain yeah I could have put pain let's put pain on here pain what else um, pay we always seems like whenever we play we have to pay right so there's a couple more words that um, you know I just add it on to our bad side. Now let's go over to the good side. Now the good side I did the same thing um, as far as making the little pocket and then putting the words in and then I just um, this is a piece of tissue paper this color here another piece of tissue paper again another piece of punchella little piece of burlap that was in my stash and just some odds and ends right. Alright so let's look at our good words. The first one is pay attention. How many times do we have to say that? Um, when our body is done, it will tell you. 
the biggest thing we have to do is pay attention. We have to listen to our body. Okay, and you know, there's something else I have to say is we have to listen to our family and friends. <laughs> I'm a bad one for this, I'm, I'm telling you. Um, somebody will tell me to stop and I'm like, oh, but just a little more or oh, just one more or let, you know, yeah, we, I for one have to learn to pay attention to my friends and family because I know the ones that um, understand my pain and get it. All they're trying to do is help me when they tell me to stop. And I, I get that, but it's so hard to listen to. So pay attention. That's a huge one. Let's see what else we have. Patient. Uh -huh. This is not my word. I don't have patience. I, I have never claimed to have patience. And I, it's just not in my personality. I don't have patience. I get very upset with myself if I don't do something as quick as I wanted to do it. Um, I just, I, I just, I really need to learn how to be patient, and that's very, very difficult. All right, let's see what else do we have. We have two on that one, so let's do this one next. We have two. Permission. Um, we need to give ourselves permission when we do have that good day or we do have um, that even the bad day. We, we really have to say, you know what, it's okay. It's okay for me to be here on the couch. It's okay. Give yourself permission and give your body permission to relax and rest and, and get the rest that it needs. That is huge. I have a hard time with this one as well. Um, I don't like... To give myself that permission to not do so this one is also very very difficult for me <laughs> pain management okay this one unfortunately I I'm not the best at because I tend to overdo and again that goes back to we need to pay attention we need to listen to our friends our family when they say okay we've done enough today let's wait until tomorrow um, if not you're gonna end up in pain management to me I consider pain management the ability to listen to my body and give it what it needs whether it be medication ice rest laying flat walking um, you know some numbing rubs whatever it needs the tens unit um, all of the above, that to me is pain management. And again, that is listening and understanding what it needs and what I can do to help myself. So there's two big words right there, permission and pain management. Those are huge to me. Um, this is the last one I have on here. And this one says pamper. And you know, this also goes back to um, the permission. I have heard so many people say, well, well, I, you know, I don't do anything all day, so I, I, I really, I don't understand why, you know, um, I should go, you know, get my hair done or get my nails done or, or, um, you know, I can't buy that for myself because I'm never going to use it or, you know, I, why would I buy that piece of jewelry because I don't go anywhere to wear it anymore, okay? However, it doesn't have to be about buying something. It can be as, as much as, you know, shutting everything off social media and going out and sitting on your back porch in the morning and having a cup of coffee, okay? Um, this is very, very important, not, not only to people with chronic pain, but also everybody else. Everybody in this world, in this society, in today's generations is just go, 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 go. And nobody has learned how to stop and just sit back and breathe and relax and spend a little time on yourself. And it's very, very hard, um, especially when you're in chronic pain, to give yourself permission to pamper yourself. And the reason being is because when you're in chronic pain and you're not able to do what you usually normally would do, you feel unworthy. Not only, um, you just, you feel like you're, you're not worth, you know, this pampering. You're, you don't deserve it. Okay, um, you have to do it. You have to give yourself permission to pamper yourself, whether it be, you know what, I'm going to take a nice hot Epsom salt bath today just because I feel like it, because it will make me feel good, not because my back needs it, not because the doctor told me to do it three times a week, whatever the case may be. 
give yourself permission to do whatever you need to do to pamper yourself. Um, it's not only going to help you physically, whether it be, um, you know, having your nails look pretty or, you know, um, getting a pedicure, whatever the case may be, it's also going to help you mentally. And mentally, um, you know, we need to learn to love our bodies more. And that's huge also when you have chronic pain. It's very difficult to love something that keeps breaking down on you. So I think the pamper is another really, really, really big word for this week. So, all right. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, I'm really sorry I did lose that footage. Um, hopefully, I have the rest of them to do. And I won't lose footage on them so that we can, you know, talk about this stuff while I'm actually doing them. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you'd like. And, um, you know, if, if you know somebody that's going through the chronic pain journey, definitely, you know, give them this series and, and maybe I can help them just a little bit. All right. Have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.